Hi lovelies, welcome. I'm so glad you could be with me today. Wow, look at the orbs. <laughs> That's so cool. Straight up, spirits are happy to be here. Um, as you know, I do channel and tune in as well as a medium, so if any other messages from your person's higher self come through, obviously that's what I usually tune into, but I'm just loving it that spirit is saying g'day. Um, guys, I haven't done this for so long. I can't remember the last time I did a pick a card reading. I've been so busy and I've just had such low energy. Um, it's been really tough sometimes to get cards out, you know, readings out. But today I have energy and I can't wait to do this reading for you. This is a topic, I'm not sure if I've actually ever done this topic. Um, this one is how did they feel when they last saw you? Now this could have been yesterday, this could have been months ago, years ago for some of you. You know, we're just going to have a look at what they were feeling, what they would, you know, maybe they did say to you or things that they wish they said to you as well. I've got my message cards here. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So we've got three readings for you to choose between. We've got the Light Seer's Tarot, which is reading number one, which is, which is um, the gorgeous little blue robin here. And we've got reading number two, which is the Everyday Witch Tarot with the Lady Beetle or the Ladybug, whatever you call it. Uh, we've got the Divine Tarot that I created with this green frog, okay, green tree frog. So take a moment, put your person in mind, guys, and just... Um, see which one draws you in. You can choose more than one if you wish to. We'll get started shortly. Hi group one, welcome guys. Glad you could be here. Man, did you see those orbs? Man, they're crazy today. It's Bloody awesome. I'm thinking I might have to do a, uh, what do you call it? I've got a crime channel as well. For those who don't know, I do true crime, missing persons, cases, tarot readings on those. And lately I've been looking into the Kylie Rodney case. So I'm just wondering if she's around. Um, so yeah, let's get started on this reading. But I was just thinking about the spirits hanging around, uh, which is very interesting. So let's get started, okay? We're going to see what was your person feeling the last time they saw you, okay, so gonna have a look, gonna have a look. Whoopsies. What was it? I'm gonna choose. Oh my god, I love this. This is so gorgeous. This is the sun, the Leo energy, feeling like they're walking on sunshine, feeling happy feeling joyful, feeling warm. Maybe they felt your warmth. They might have felt like um, it was a very beautiful moment between the two of you. Um, and they were just maybe, yeah, just really happy to be in your presence or to see you. Um, so if this doesn't, you know, resonate with how you felt that they were with you, this is deep down what they were feeling is that you are like a beacon of light that they are drawn to. Um, and so it kind of reminds me of that warm and fuzzy feeling that you can have with somebody. Um, so this is just gorgeous right there. And it's so interesting. This rune is standing out to me here. I'm pretty sure these cards have runes, but I'm going to actually look at that later if it comes up. I'm just actually, no, I'm going to have a look now. Where is it? I'm just being drawn to that for some reason. Uh, <clears throat> uh where are we? Oh, look, it says victory and success, okay? Uh, it can be a trip to the inner world for search of balance, but I'm saying that they felt successful, they felt happy, and over the, well, I was going to say over the moon, but it's the sun, <laughs> walking on sunshine, I call it. So, oh, wow, that's amazing, that's amazing. Let's get another card. Wow, hang on, there's too many flying out. <laughs> What else did they feel? So they might have been feeling overburdened with some of their issues and seeing you really made them, you know, made their day. It really made them feel happy and, and maybe being in your presence, you, you kind of have this ability to make them feel comfortable and free that they can unburden their day or life, you know, uh, issues. So maybe they feel like you are their light in their times of darkness. 
uh, where they do feel like heavy burdens are on their shoulders, that maybe they have had a very long journey in life with their karmic lessons and they're just feeling like when you come into their life, they're, maybe their face lights up when they see you, you know, that's how I feel, is that they have this, whatever this pathway is, maybe it's family issues or job issues or just past unresolved issues but when they see you they feel elated they feel really uh safe and happy to be with you there you are like the comfort zone for them you are what keeps them safe their safe place their happy home you know that's what i see here all right one more please one more please spirit wow they just want to bring them all out there's just way too many there's so much energy in these cards i'm just gonna okay <laughs> Let's just get one more card, please. There we are. Oh, yes. They're seeing that maybe some of you work together as well and they look forward to seeing you at work. Um, but I feel like they want to work things. I'm hearing they want to rebuild things maybe with you or they want to work on building a beautiful future or a life with you. Maybe it's something that they, they haven't told you about, but it's what they're feeling that they can, you know, they can take step by step with you to build something beautiful. They want to work with you on something. Um... I think that they feel that uh, you can help unburden them with all these things that they have to carry um, and yeah like you want to be there for them it's almost like they love just being in your presence um, just talking about things maybe being creative with you working on things making things together things like that um, yes I feel like I feel like they've, you might, oh god this stupid phone, I feel like they might see that you are a very supportive person, that you are their rock, okay, that they can, they feel like they can build their life or pick themselves up again because you are very, maybe you give them positive words of affirmation um, and really lift them up and make them feel good about themselves um, because you see the good in them, you know, that kind of thing, so they really, they really feel um, just they admire you, they look up to you, they feel really good in your company. So let's have a look at what they want to say to you that they haven't said. Oh God, it's stupid cards. <laughs> okay, so they've been thinking long and hard about something that they want to share with you. They've come into some kind of wisdom. Maybe they see that you are a very wise soul, an old soul. And uh, they will come to you for advice. That's what I feel. Um, yes. And this is the Aquarius energy as well. So I feel like what they want to say to you, I'm going to get another card on that. So you've helped them to see the bigger picture, okay? Where they have been looking down into their problems or issues or uh, may have been in victim mode. There's something they were struggling with. Lots of responsibilities that maybe you've helped them with and they want to say thank you. Thank you for giving me inspiration to overcome these things. Thank you for being my friend by my side. Um, being my rock in my times of need. Wow. <laughs> God, these cards are not going to cooperate today. I think there's a lot they want to say. Put it that way. <laughs> and they might, they might come across as a little poker-faced. Uh, sometimes, you know, they might be very, sometimes very serious. They might appear to be very serious or deep in thought. Um, there might be a lot of things that they think that they don't say. Um, yeah, look at this. They want to say to you that you are an inspiration in their life, whether you're a male or female. They just see your glow. They see you glowing up, um, really happy, embracing people, your warmth. Um, they are magnetized towards this within you. Some of you might own a black cat. How cute is that? Look like my black cat. Um, so yeah, they definitely feel that you are a light, a beacon of light, somebody that they are hugely uh, have deep respect for. And they want to say this to you. They want to be able to tell you that you are someone they've never come across before in their life. Oh, yes, they want to share the romantic feelings for you. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I think that they are trying to perhaps gain their courage or get themselves in a better, stronger position before they can. Uh, they, they do see a future, okay, because this person's sitting up higher, seeing the bigger picture, opening their eyes, being awakened 
to something, okay? And if you don't feel seen, it could be because of these issues here, but I feel like they definitely want to hear you out. They want to sit down and be in your presence and really take it all in. Um, and they want to get to a position where they're strong enough to be able to also reciprocate that to you. But they definitely have these strong feelings for you. Let's see what they want to say to you. I want to hold you close and slow dance with you. This could be a fantasy or something that they want to just do with you. So there's nowhere else I'd rather be than by your side. Yeah, they feel at home with you. Like They feel like they're meant to be by your side. Like physically, literally by your side. Um, we are so awesome together. You're my best friend and lover all in one. This person, your person, really uh, uh, respects and loves the connection you have as friends. Maybe you can have a lot of fun together. Maybe they are the serious one and you're the one that comes in all bubbly and like, you know, um, try to lift them up and, and try not to take life too seriously. And they really uh, love that about you so much because they realize, oh, God, I have been too serious. It's time to just have fun and let the past go. And I see so many signs that our love is meant to be. And let's lay back, look at the stars and talk about our dreams. Could definitely be an air sign. Uh, you know, yeah, it could definitely be an air sign here. It doesn't have to be. could be an Aries, Leo, Aquarius. could be any sign, really. But I feel like they um, they are the kind of person that doesn't need to have huge words and, and conversation with you. They just love being in your presence, even in the silence, taking everything in. And our souls have known each other for eternity. I know we are destined to be together. Gorgeous. This is the higher self. I love meeting with you on the astral. It's where we create our magic. And I really feel your person's very a deep thinker. They might be into science, philosophy, uh, you know, just working out the ways of the world and the universe and the galaxies and, and all that kind of thing. They really have questions about life and why we're here. And I think they're very spiritual. And if, uh, if they're not that spiritual, I feel like they're about to be. They're really awakening to things. They have questions. They've come into a lot of wisdom also in other areas. And I feel like you are sparking something up within them that makes them really want to learn more about life, about the meaning of even your connection everything um, even about where they might need to be next in their career or their life purpose this is something that they're thinking about when they last saw you this is so funny so when they last saw you you really triggered something within them that has made them question where do I want to be where am I meant to be and it feels like they know that you're meant to be together uh, all right so that's very beautiful Maybe you've opened their eyes to something. Oh my God, look at this. We are magnetizing each other. Your radiant light draws me in. What did we say about this? This is so interesting. Like they see you like the sunshine in their life. You really bring things to life. They, they are drawn to your happy vibe. Maybe because they've had to carry heavy burdens and you are light. I have the drive to succeed. I believe in us, do you? Oops. And I am bleeding, but you can't see my blood. So there are issues here that I feel like, especially if you're in separation, bloody hell, this is annoying me. If you're in separation at the moment or have been for a while, uh, I feel like they are seriously contemplating on all of what they feel, okay, and what's, what it's bringing up for them. And they might be really missing you, or this could be unresolved issues that are going on that they may not have shared with you just yet. Um... Wow, look at this. I miss your sunshine in my life so much. There's something about this reading where they seriously see you as like they're saving, okay? Like you are the, you are the person they want to cling to because you are the person that brings love and light into the situation, into their life. You are the one who has awakened them to a higher love, okay? So they're missing your sunshine. I feel you so strongly I can taste your essence. And I'm, I am so sorry for not giving you the time and attention you deserve. 
So yeah, because they've been, they've got a lot of responsibilities. They might feel that you're a giver. You've given so much to them, and they really want to reciprocate it. So what beautiful quality, positive quality with this whole light, sunshine, <laughs> inspiration, being awakened, you triggering these thoughts, deep thoughts within them. What are they feeling at this point when they've seen you last? What are they feeling? What kind of energy were they in? Oh my God, guys. <laughs> Holy shit. I love this. I love it when it's confirmed. Awakened. Look at that. You've awakened this person. There's something about you. It might not even have been anything that you uh, consciously did, but something about your personality, your spirit. Okay. It's really your spirit because this is a beautiful spiritual connection has awakened their soul very flexible so they might have been feeling that they didn't want to be tied down with anything they just wanted to give you time and they're healing as well so they feel like you are a healing light in their life so let's get some other ideas with some passion our love is passionate and pure and it would kill me to see you with someone else oh and I want to run my uh, hands through your hair and every part of you is perfect for me. And you don't even know how beautiful you are. So you might be somebody who's just, you're very humble. You might not be very egotistical. You know, it's like, not look at me, look at me. Like you just are who you are. And it's kind of reminds me of that song. Oh uh, God, who was it from? It might have been One Direction. I can't remember. Um, you don't even know you're beautiful, something like that. Do do, you don't know you're beautiful. I will put that down below. And this is what I feel they're trying to do: is have faith, have faith in the journey, have faith in their connection. Oh yes, now this could be a sad divine masculine. Okay, so yes, if, if it's a masculine, it's a special message for the masculine to have faith. So he's trying to have faith. Um, that things will blossom beautifully and in their own natural way. Um, and the, the B is all about the hard work and it's creativity here as well. So I just think this is so gorgeous and things could actually blossom for some of you around springtime as well. So that's what they were feeling at the last time they saw you. We're going to get some letters and, and some charms. Actually, what am I drawn to doing? Yes, I'll get some letters and uh, attributes, perhaps. All right, this person, this could represent uh, you or your person. Okay, so to get some more information, Native American. So you could be Native American, or you're both into Native American things. Uh, Motorsport, someone might be into shy. They see you as a blessing. And we got fair, so it could be um, they like things to be fair and just um, between you. You know, they, they take into account your feelings. Could be that they're fair-haired or fair-skinned. We've got museum, so I'm sorry you can't see these words. Unconventional, okay. Um, so that does remind me of the Aquarius energy especially. Could have been an unconventional way of meeting each other. Uh, Cyprus. We've got England and we've got separation. Yeah, some of you might be Sagittarius and we've got reunion. So we've got separation and reunion. Um, transparent. So they want to be transparent with you. Collector. Someone collects things. Extroverted. Secret. Oh, sorry, I thought it said secret. Second chance. Yeah, someone wants a second chance because at the moment there's a tower moment going on. Um, as well for somebody and Poland now for those who don't know what a tower moment is it's when there's a sudden change it's uprooting things that you know you normally are used to in your life and it's a much needed change things can be uncomfortable at first but it's necessary for growth to let go of things to accept things and adapt um, and you know embrace a whole new path ready yes to be ready see the tower moment and we've got quiet so they might be quiet, deep in thought. Denmark, and we've got here as well commitment issues. Uh, and Scotland, and also a brunette. So let's get some uh, letters and, and charms. So we've got a T and an N 
S Q D K G M O H. Now, if your person's initials didn't come up in this, that's okay. This is, could still be your reading. Um, we've got, what have I got here? A moth, like a moth to a flame. Look at that. Um, and they see you as very hot. They see you as passionate. You know, they've got a lot of passion and, and hot heat for you. <laughs> Sounds weird. Um, we've also got that they might live in a hot climate. Um, yes. Tom is a name. Tom. Dom for Dominique, perhaps. I don't know. Um, when I'm saying the word som, I'm thinking of insomnia. Someone could have insomnia. Uh, it's not very much here, really. Don. Donald Don. These could be last names as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hard to see everything. Tong, Tonga, perhaps. Song. Yeah, they're listening to a song <laughs> about you. They might be playing a song too. Hong could be Hong Kong. Thong. <laughs> they might wear a thong. In Australia, we call like sandal type shoes thongs. I know it's different in America. So anyway, that's that one. We're going to get some letters now, which could be um, postcodes, phone numbers, uh, birth dates, you name it. So we've got a number five and a number one and a three and a number one. Could be ages as well. Uh, we've also got a zero and we've got a zero. And we've got a four and a four, guys. So that is your reading. I hope it's resonated with you today and, and shown you what your person was thinking of and how they really feel for you. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. I forgot the charms. <laughs> oh, my gosh, my brain. Okay, so we've got an aeroplane. Someone might live long distance. They might want to get on a plane with you, go on a holiday. Because we also have here too, he's back. So the Divine Masculine is coming back. Um, also could be into crop circles, galaxy, UFO, that sci-fi stuff. We've also got the Shell. So someone's name might be Shell or Shelly, Michelle. Uh, we've also got someone might live near the beach. Uh, we've got a beautiful spiritual commitment going on here. So you're already spiritually committed to each other. And we've got the hand of Fatima, which can represent blessings, can represent protection um, and also pregnancies. We've also got the transition of the butterfly right now. Things are transforming. Uh, we've got the number two come up here. So this is like the two of cups, I believe, like the two, the partnership. OK, and could be the second of the month. Um, or the second month that's significant. We've got the wine glass, so someone might want to celebrate, might drink, might be a party celebration, that kind of thing. We've got the dove, so it's a promise, it's hope uh, for a new path together. We've got the two cent Australian coins, we've got the frill necked lizard. It's all about um, protection, it's about fun, play. 1980 could be somebody's uh, birth date. We've got the number two on there again too, which is also very much around the partnership. Uh, we've got the unknown okay, room here, so this is the unknown. Things are still unfolding, ready for surprises. We've got another shell here, huh, beautiful. So you could be overseas from each other. And we've got this one here, which is also, I'm pretty sure, protection. I've got to check because I forget. Uh, where is it? <clears throat> so this one is, this is the moment to act. Is that the one? I'm just checking. Just double checking right here. Yes, this is the room to act, okay? This is the moment to act, I should say. Find out what your heart wishes. Resistances will be gone. And it's union and reunion, the end of conflicts. I'm freaking loving that, guys. I hope you do too. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Hi, group two. Welcome, guys. You chose the Everyday Witch Tarot with the Lady Beetle, the Ladybug. Let's have a look, okay? So we've got here... We're going to see what is your person, what are they 
No, what did they feel for you the last time they saw you? Okay, what, what were they feeling the last time they saw you? Group two, whoops, going to get three cards out. So, seven of wands, they might have felt a little protective of um, something. They might have been a little guarded, cautious perhaps. We're going to see what else is coming up with that. What's going on here? Seven of pentacles. Yeah, sitting back waiting for something. Um, interesting, we've got the two sevens here as well. Someone might own a black cat. I've noticed these come up a lot in this actual tarot. Uh, deck, but they could have just been really working hard on something, waiting patiently for something to happen in their life. They might be distracted uh, with something that's happening. Let's have a look. I wonder if some of them uh, have a vineyard or, you know, live out in the country. Let's see. What else is going on here, please, Spirit? Oh, the sun. So they were feeling very good. They're feeling very happy, so maybe they were just a little guarded. Maybe it's not such a bad thing. It might not be against you. My God, I hate this phone. It may not be against you as such, okay? They might not be guarding themselves um, and fighting you off kind of thing. Uh, it feels like they're in a passive energy just waiting to see how things happen, but it seems like they're very happy with you. See how these people are, um, you know, in a field of sunflowers and they're... There's pregnancy here, they're happy, there's, there's, um, there's smiling, it's joyous, it's fun. Um, and, you know, it could be that some of you, that, you know, they want, maybe some of you are pregnant, about to have a family together. Um, or this is something they might feel that they want, is to have children with you. So they feel like they're in a content place, but there is something they're guarding. Okay, so I just want to have a look. Are they guarding their feelings? Are they maybe even just protective of you? Let's see. What is that? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're just protective of something they've been really working hard at. So it could be their money. It could be their finances. It could be just their time. It could be a time constraint. Maybe there's something that has really got their attention right now. They're working very hard on and they're waiting for something to be, you know, to come to completion. Uh, it could be that they're undergoing a divorce or a settlement. That's something that could be there. Um, yeah, there's, def there's definitely something that maybe money, uh, you know, connected here that they're perhaps um, guarding a little bit. They might still want to be with you and have fun with you and enjoy your company. Um, maybe, you know, if there's a, if there's a, an overseas connection going on here or a long distance relationship, or even if you just work together, they might be just trying to feel their way around where they can go in this connection with you. There might be that they're not so much trying to protect something, you know, or guard, look what I'm saying, guard, um, something against you. It might be that there's just a barrier there, um, that's, yeah, it's definitely taking their time and attention and they're really working hard on it. What is it? I want to know what it is. What is it, please, spirit? What is it? My God, this phone. Um, so they have actually maybe gone through a divorce and had everything taken from them. So it could be for some of you literally that they're worried about money. They're worried about what if I have to share it and then it's all taken away from me. That could be a fear. Um, definitely for some of them who've already gone through something like a breakup or have lost a lot, um, because this person's building their way up, ready to, um, you know, ready for harvest. There's a time for awaiting results, um, working really hard at something on their own perhaps. And then they've had some kind of, um, feeling of being pushed aside or, or a lot of loss, so I feel like for them, they might be a little guarded, even though they really enjoy your company and you bring such light into their life. Um, maybe it's in the beginning stages for some of you and they're just really enjoying the fun, you know, light, lighter kind of things with you, the light times, the like the happy-go-lucky kind of vibe, um, celebrating life and just having fun. So I just want to get more info still. Because it's, it's not bad. I don't feel this is bad. It could just be fears. It could just be their own fears with things. So, 
Unrequited love. Okay, this is in. Oh, I've got it now. I really do feel what I. Yes, I do feel like some of it is that they're worried about you know losing what they've really built quite um, you know strong here. But I'm telling you now, what I really feel is that they're afraid that if they invest so much into you that they're going to lose out in the end. And maybe at the last time they saw you, they might have felt that, you know, rejected. They might have felt like you didn't love them back. Or it could be that they were like this with you where they might have been a bit standoffish, uh, might have come across as really not having uh, strong feelings or love for you. You know, that could have been that they rejected you. That could be that as well. You'll know what it is for your situation. But let's see, okay, what is it? that they want, wanted to say to you, okay? What did they actually want to say to you that maybe they didn't say to you? So they want to see things objectively. I think that they weren't maybe ready to make a decision and they want things to be fair between you. Some of you might actually be, oh gosh, this is a weird message. Some of you might have actually been going through a legal thing together. It could be that you were splitting up you know, and divorcing each other. That could be something here as well for some of you. Um, but I definitely feel like they wanted to... They wanted to... Um, things to be fair and balanced. Uh, and, and it might have even been, like, neutral. They just want to be... I don't think they want to get too involved with their emotions here. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like... Um, in some ways, they want to be able to give to you what's fair, okay? They want to be able to... Uh... <sighs> Such a weird reading, this one. They really are in control, aren't they? they? They want to be in control of how things go. Yes, Ten of Swords. So there might have been harsh words. There might have been a quick cutoff. Um, they might have ran away. There might have been a betrayal, a feeling of... Uh, maybe not giving you what you deserved. Because uh, I feel like they might have been a little cold with you. There's this, I mean, there's this warmth here and this happiness and wanting to have fun with you. Um, maybe having a family together. You know, if some of you have a family together, but there's definitely something that's happening here. Uh, they might be protective of their family, might be protective of their children in terms of if you were coming together and both have children, they don't want to invite you into that circle just yet uh there's so many ways i can read into this because there's so many i'm reading for uh but i do feel like they definitely just want things to be balanced they want to you know they want to be able to they wanted to be able to give you equally what you're giving to them but they probably can't that's what i'm getting here they might have wanted to but they can't yeah, there's a lot of passion here. So they, I feel like they wanted to tell you their feelings, that they really do feel, you know, did feel or do feel this passion for you. Um, but I think that they have held off. I think that they're, they're closed off a little bit here. So it's interesting I'm saying not against you, but I do feel they're very overprotective of something in their life they've worked hard for. They're not ready maybe to open right up and share. They want to just give you little bits and maybe they realize it's not fair on you, okay? Even though they have this passion and that's real, uh, practically in their life, uh, you know, they, they may not be ready to share those other aspects of their life with you and maybe they did cut it off and they're sorry for that. Um, let's have a look. What do they want to say to you? This is their... I do want to get my uh, shadow message from them. It was much easier to hide than face the truth. So, yeah, they were definitely guarded, um, but also might have come across as with a happy persona to try and, you know, uh, keep things peaceful. And you might have felt like they don't love you. They don't have these feelings for you. It could be for some of you that they, they just aren't tapping into that true deep love for you. They're too busy running or something, okay? too busy dealing with other things, too busy being closed off and only just giving a little bit. That could be it. doesn't mean they don't love you. Uh, but, you know, they might have been feeling when they last saw you that they don't feel that lovey-dovey kind of let's get a life happening together kind of thing. Um, but as I said, it could also be 
that they that how they felt when they last saw you is that you were closed off and not really open to love with them so I don't want you to see me because I feel ashamed yeah they're running they're running from something and the closer I get to you the more fearful I become and I feel stressed about our connection when things are off balance. That's what I'm saying. They want things to be balanced. They want to be able to give things to you mutually. Uh, and it says here, I miss you so much right now. So they do have feelings for you. They do miss you. That's how they felt. Also, which they wish they had said to you is that, you know, they, they really do um, appreciate your time and energy and effort that you've given to them. Now, their higher self says to you, I know we're connected even when we're apart. And yes, yes, your instincts are correct. I have very deep feelings for you. Look at that. So they might have been putting on a very casual kind of persona, happy to see you, but keeping their distance. I am scared to face you because you mirror to me all the things I need to heal. And I'm learning to love myself. Okay, so let's have a look here. So forgive me, I have never felt this way before. I do not know how to act. And you are the song of my heart. And you feel like a warm home to me. You are my muse. So they definitely feel... Um, I can never say it, but I do love you. There you go. There is love there. There is love there. And they might have done a really good job of like pushing it down or hiding it. But they want to say to you, you inspire me so much. I want to create beautiful things with you. And please be patient with me. I am healing my heart. Yeah, wow. And I dream about you all the time. And when I wake... I swear it feels like we were really together. When I hear your voice in my head, I know you are guiding me. Wow, look at all the purple here. This is a crown chakra, the higher self. I love meeting with you on the astral. It's where we create our magic. So there's things about dreams here. They're dreaming of you. Okay, he or she, they, whatever, they're dreaming of you. And they're saying, please be patient with me. I'm not yet ready, but... I want to let you know that I do have very deep feelings for you. I do love you. I am passionate about you, but it's just not right now. I can't give it right now. So what were they feeling? Were their positive energy last time they saw you? Leader. They wanted to take the lead. Maybe they saw you as a leader. Um, but I feel like they felt like they had to be in control okay, of the situation. Receptive. They were very receptive to what you had to say. Um, they're trustworthy, so they, they felt that they were being trustworthy f towards you. They were being receptive and, and showing you that they are still a trustworthy person, observant. Yeah, they were taking in everything. They were really taking in everything, listening to everything, and um, maybe looking at your body language, and playful. So that's that playful energy. So I'm not saying it was serious and really horrible when you last saw each other. It just looks to me like they were keeping a distance. They don't feel like they're ready. They might be guarding or keeping their heart close to their, you know, I <laughs> say close to their chest, their feelings close to their chest. Um, just not opening right up, just being very, maybe a little neutral, but still very pleasant and happy, maybe cheeky with you, keeping things light and casual. Um, that could be that. <clears throat> <clears throat> and what else do they want to say to you? Did we get these other cards? Oh, no, I haven't got them yet. Hang on. I thought I got these ones. No? Okay, so they want to say to you, thank you for being there for me when I needed you the most. And I can't hold back these feelings. I need to tell you what I feel. So they are feeling that, that you deserve that. And you are so sensual and sexual, it drives me wild with desire. Yeah, there's that passion, see? And do you know how much you drive me wild? <laughs> so there's definitely a sexual passion there as well. It was love at first sight when I met you. Time stopped and I knew you were the one. So it seems like timing's off. Maybe things are not aligning for you or them right now. They're, they're waiting for something to complete in their life that they've been working hard on. Uh, it could have been a long journey for them. Uh, but 
you know, it's almost like there's a sadness here, like a bittersweet feeling here. Let's have a look. What do they want to say? My body aches without you. And your light, or no, sorry, you light me up in ways I haven't felt in a long time. And you blow my mind. And I just want to cuddle with you all night. And I adore you. So this person might be someone who doesn't really give a lot. They might not be gushy with their emotions or even their thoughts. They might really take time to really weigh things up before they jump in. Okay. So let's get an idea. What else can we see here? <coughs> So look at that. They're saying, I miss you. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys weren't together the last time they saw you, um, they might have really felt at that moment that they really missed you as well. There's some regrets, perhaps. Look at that. Wow. They want a reconciliation. I miss you. I want to get back with you. I want to be with you. You know, but there's these issues. Yeah, but there's a distance. Look at that. Some of you might literally be at a long distance and they just can't see how it could work right now. Maybe you're living totally different lives um, or there's an emotional distance that just needs to be repaired. Okay, so let's get some. But there's no doubt that they have these deep feelings for you and they want to give you more. They don't want to just commit to something that they can't fully invest in and, and really um, promise, you know. I'm going to get some charms. So there's the dolphin. So it could live near the ocean, be oceans apart. That's the playful soulmate energy as well. They really just want to keep things casual and light for now. Someone might own a rag doll or a pussycat. Um, yes, it's, it's taking time. It's taking its own time. Once again, could be overseas from each other. Um, but yes, there might be some delays. Just patience is involved here. We've got the blue rose. So it's like they see you as their rose um, as well. Their special rose. We've got... You both in each other's hearts here, see? And they might be listening to music about you. They might be just closing off to the world at the moment, listening to podcasts or something. We've got the transition of the butterfly, which is awesome. So things are transforming in your lives. We've got the enchantment of the fairy. Someone, this kind of reminds me of children. So someone could have children. They want to have children uh, with you. And it says here, he's back. So the divine masculine is coming back. Someone might be into sci-fi, crop circles, that kind of thing. We've also got the letter, so you could definitely get an uh, email or a, a, like something in your inbox, like a message, a text or something. Two cent coin is the, the frill-necked lizard. It's playful energy. It can be a little protective at times as well. 1980 could be someone's birth date. We've got the practical energy of the Virgo, someone could be. Hand of Fatima is protection, pregnancy, blessings. We've got the phone, so definitely wants to have communication with you. Might have something very special and important to tell you soon. We've got the rose and the cross, kind of reminds me. Uh, well, someone told me about the meaning of this. I can't remember it now, um, but when I see this, I just think, once again, rose. Someone's name could be rose, could be a Christian. Uh, we've got this here as well, which can um, represent a bond that can never be broken. You might receive jewellery. You could be worlds apart right now, physically or just emotionally, feeling that. We've got the letters. Wow, there's way too many there. But anyway, G... Q. I'm not going to read them all out as words. It just takes a lot of time, but you can write them down if you wish to. G Q T. This could be their name spelled out, or their initials, or or a place they live in as well. E D. So Ted is coming up. S A Z B R K U C L H X and a W. Okay. So someone. Um, Yeah, they're trying to leave clues for you, maybe. It's interesting that's coming up. Clue. It's almost like um, without saying things, they might be leaving things on social media, kind of like cryptic messages for you to read. Could be someone's name could be Luke. We've got Luke and um, Sue. We've got R. Did I say R? Can't remember now.
bit bat cat yeah someone I might own a cat too got the cat got the name cat or Catherine Katie Kate that kind of thing got the name Kate here um <clears throat> Yeah, late. They, they might feel like they're a bit... They don't want to come in too late to be with you. Yeah, they, they might be dating um, or they want to date you, you know. Just not jump into anything hugely committed, but I feel like they don't want to lead you on either. So we got tea, tea drinker, <clears throat> maybe. Lee... Seal, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. So it's G, Q, Z, B, K, U, R, C, D, S, E, A, L, T, H, X, and a W. So we're going to get some numbers now, which can show. I'm sorry if that was blurred the whole time. It does drive me nuts. So let's get some numbers. This could be postcodes, phone numbers, their age, um, date of birth. Um, you know, it could be, um, yeah, what did I say? Age or destiny numbers from a birth chart. So we've got 9853 and a 7, a 6 and a 2. And I'm going to get some attributes very quickly. I meant to do this first. So let's have a look. So we've got northeast. So they might live northeast of you or vice versa. Transparent person. They want to be transparent with you. 35 to 50 could be an age range, <coughs> excuse me, or kilometers or miles they are from you. We've got France. We've got husband. They want to be your husband. Um, Yes, um, campfire, um, or you want them to be your husband, uh, protein shake, quiet, wealthy, adventurous, Vanuatu, concerts, uh, we got here healthy, as well as city, someone might live in the city, we got Jamaica, we got fair hair, fair skin, they do want things to be to be fair between you. Um, lean, someone could be thin or lean. Museum, I think I said that. Uh, Paris, so Paris, France has come up. They might want to take you there. It's very romantic. England, we got a reunion, which is cool. And Native American could be what um, South Africa's coming up as well. Motorsports, extroverted. Um, Aquarius, and we've got unconventional, very interesting because that is such an Aquarius energy. You might have met in an, in an unconventional type of way. Commitment issues, very interesting. Sagittarius. Cyprus, this is similar to the first one. Uh, fire, fire sign. They might like fire. Someone might own a dog. Um, past life, very much past life connection here. They might be dealing with a lot from a past life. Separation. Yep, and creative and also secret admirer. So they're secretly admiring you, even though you might, you know, may or may not be in contact. They are secretly admiring you. So guys, if this has resonated, please comment, like, subscribe. And I look forward to connecting with you guys next time. Love and blessings. Hi, group three. Welcome, guys. I hope you're all doing really well. You chose the divine tarot with the green tree frog. So let's have a look. What did your person feel when they last saw you? What did they feel when they last saw you, group three? What did they feel when they last saw you? Oh, so gorgeous. They felt hopeful. They felt inspired by you. They might even look up to you and see this shine, this glow about you. So they might see that you are the star in their life. They might, some of you might actually be a star. You might be on TV, you could be famous, you might be well known, and they really look at you as a star. Or even if you're not on TV or anything like that, they really do just see you as a star in their life. Someone who's shining and 
A shining light in the dark. Oh my god, I love this so much. So, wow, we've got the star and the world. So they see that you are their world. Uh, you know, it's almost like for some of you, you might live um, far away as well from each other. It could be a long distance connection. They see that even though there might be a, a separation there, a physical distance, that you are still the person that shines in their life. Um, so the last time they saw you, they might have really felt that you are their world, you are the shining star, but they might have also felt, for some of you who are in a long distance connection, if you've seen each other over a screen, um, that they really miss you, they want to be with you, that you are worlds apart. <clears throat> and seven of air. So they might see you as very mysterious. I feel like in some ways they might have felt that they couldn't be completely honest with you. They might have felt a little shy um, and, you know, tried to, maybe they left in a very quick way. You know, they might have ghosted you in some way. They might have felt in some ways that they just had to, um, yeah, I think that they're hiding something. They're, they're hiding their true feelings, perhaps. They weren't showing you or sharing with you how they really feel. So we're going to get into that. What What is that in a moment? Yeah, I'll get it now, actually. Let's have a look, okay? Wow, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So they might have been a bit shy in doing so. What's the next card here? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual uh, path. So it could be that you guys are very different, have very different values, different backgrounds, different upbringings, different religious views. Uh, <clears throat> and it could be, you know, that they really look up to you and they might be a little intimidated by you. They might feel in some ways that they need to have a heart to heart with you and to let you know how they, what their fears might be in moving forward. Like if they wanted to have a life with you, can it work? Okay, so this is the evasive energy. This is somebody who can uh, just ghost and disappear. And so if they didn't do that this time round, they might be thinking about another time that they did this and they want to be able to share with you why they did that. Okay, so what did they want to say to you? What is it that they wanted to say to you but couldn't say? Oopsies. So that they see you as a beautiful, oh, they see your warmth. They see you as an inspiration, as I said before, with this star energy. Uh, it might be that they, if they're a divine masculine, especially want to come forward and show you, <laughs> that's so funny, their tricks. <laughs> I don't know why they come through. That's so funny. We'll show you their tricks. But they want to show you that they're in control. They're in the lead. They have massive desire for you, for life. Um, you know, they, they are coming into king mode or they want to be in this mode where they are, um, uh, what am I saying, a visionary. And so they are wanting to let you know that they are a leader. They want to take control. They want to be the person to pursue this, okay? I want to get another one. That is also, I see that as the Leo energy and this is the Aquarius energy. So let's get another look. What else do they want to say? They want to be bold in telling you how passionate they are for you. <laughs> oh yeah, they've been watching you for a little while and it might, some, might sound a bit creepy for some people. It's not really. I feel like they're just really curious about you. They're kind of sitting back waiting and watching. Like it's like that shyness. Um, it's a mystery. <laughs> okay, they, they actually feel like you're a mystery. And once again, this could be somebody who's just standing back silent, not coming out with words um, and it might have felt in some ways that things did get a bit hazy and a little you know look at the dark clouds here okay so it could have been a little uh, confusing the way they handled with something um, but they do want to come forward with boldness not sit back any longer yeah they want to give to you mutually they want to give to you uh, like reciprocate Perhaps something that you were giving to them. They want to be able to open up and share their feelings, what they truly want to say to you, what their fears might be. 
uh, yeah, they definitely want to gain courage and coming forward. And um, wow, okay, well, sorry about this phone. My God, it's driving me nuts. Um, yeah, so they definitely want to come forward and let you know that they know your worth, they know your value, they know you. Wow, what was that? They know you deserve um, the the very best, and they may not have been giving it to you. Um, even in the last time they saw you, a last conversation, perhaps they had maybe an opportunity to tell you how they felt and maybe they didn't, maybe they kind of backed out of it. So they want to say to you that they're maybe apologizing. I'm sorry that I have been MIA for a while. Um, I do want to give to you, you know, what you deserve. And they want to let you know that they're trying to keep an open mind around love because we're looking at the Aquarius energy as well, which is unconventional, it's untraditional, but this person might have a traditional upbringing or views on love. Um, and they're maybe going to be telling you that they've been thinking about love and the meaning of love and maybe even what this connection means. And they might be trying to keep their mind open about could something work between you? Let's see what they want to say, okay? Because it's almost like they've got one foot in, one foot out, they're, they've got these feelings for you, but they're also very shy, very uh, skittish. So it's kind of like they are, they can bolt at any time uh, if things get a little overwhelming uh, or if, if, if the attention's on them and their feelings, uh, they might just back out. Uh, but then they're watching you from afar. <laughs> so very interesting. All right, let's have a look. What do they want to say to you? What is their shadow self saying, okay? Not that I feel there's a huge shadow, but there's definitely something here that is not, like the air has not been cleared. So their highest, uh, sorry, their, their um, shadow self says, I am racked with guilt. So it could be that the way they dealt with something, you know, uh, really they know that you didn't, you know, deserve that. Uh, yes, and, and I'm serious, like they look up to you. They actually, perhaps that's the reason why they're so afraid, if they are afraid or keeping a guard up, is because they don't want to stuff it up. They don't want to promise anything and jump into something if it's, you know, um, not going to last or if they can't give it their all. Uh, also, they might be really struggling at the moment uh, with family, um, marriage, you know, commitment issues, things like that, their views on that. Um, and it's not my problem that you feel that way. So that could be a part of a defense mechanism coming through that if things were upsetting between you and you might have backed off and got upset, you know, part of them is kind of deflecting, saying, well, it's not my problem. And I wasn't being honest with you or with myself. So, yeah, there's this dishonesty here, too, with that Seven of Air. Sometimes a Seven of Swords can represent somebody who is a little bit sneaky or won't be really upfront with something. So I feel like they were maybe skirting around an issue, kind of sidestepping around something, not really coming forward right out with it. And look at this. Here it is. I'm afraid to commit to you. So there is that. And the higher self says to you, I love being in your company and I can't wait to see you again. And I want to reach out to you and talk. Yeah, they want to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Thinking of you brings calm to my soul. Yeah, they really feel that uh, in your presence, you really teach them a lot about themselves as well. And I know we're connected even when we're apart. So let's have a look at some other love messages here from them. What do they want to say? I get so lost in your eyes. Time stops when we're together. They really do get lost in you. I want you to meet my family and friends. You mean the world to me. Look at that. You mean the world to this person. Uh, and that's an issue with this religious factors, spiritual factors. Um, if they're afraid to commit, they're not really opening up their whole world to you. And that's something they do want to do. Sometimes I have to look away when we lock eyes. Our chemistry is so intense. I don't think they've felt this kind of love before or these feelings before. Let's kick back and enjoy the night with a few drinks and talk the night away. So they really want to reach out and talk. They actually want to talk. Um, not just sit back and just 
be in each other's presence. Like the first one was really, the first reading was really all about just sitting in one's presence. But this, they want to talk to you. They want to um, maybe share dreams of a future, um, get real with each other and really share. Share. They want to share equally with you their feelings about maybe their views on a future, what they really want. Um, I am taking my time. We have all the time in the world. And you turn loose heaven within me. And I think at the moment they're starting to realize too that maybe they don't, we don't really have all the time in the world because life's happening, you know, life is going on, people are moving on. I've been watching you from a distance, look at that. So true. And I am so lost in the ocean that is you. And I know you are my other half. Well, I know you are, yeah, you are my other half. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so what positive energy were they in when they last saw you? Very grateful for you. Grateful for you. Enthusiastic. So, you know, it's interesting because we kind of see this energy, which kind of shows me that they're holding back. They might might have disappeared quite fast. Uh, but this shows me that they were very happy and enthusiastic to be with you. To Even if you talked about casual things, whatever it is, they were feeling grateful for you, giving them their time, intuitive confident so they were in tune with you they were picking up like i feel like your person's very in tune with you they do pick up certain cues with you but they're feeling confident so they must have been feeling confident and brave look at that trying to be brave or being confident and brave honorable trying to do the right thing analytical and and adventurous so yeah trying to really analyze the situation uh, also adventurous, you know, depending on what the conversation was about. Maybe they're talking about their travels or something. Awakened. Very good. I like it. They're awakening. So you, maybe the last conversation really has awoken them to something. All right. So what else have I got here? And my love for you runs so deep. When I close my eyes, all I see is your beautiful face. I could stare at you for eternity. This person, your person, seriously, loves watching you. They love looking at you. Uh, they find that you're a mystery. They're inspired by you. Uh, they might even be a little intimidated by you. They just love it when they see you. You know, they love looking at you. I'm starting to see past these illusions. They're just fears I've been running from. And we've got, you'll never have to fear anything with me. I will keep you safe and secure. And I'm amazed at your beauty. I could look at you all day long. Look what I said. <laughs> what I said. It's so funny. The indigo is the third eye chakra. It's all about awakening. It's all about opening your eyes and seeing the bigger picture and seeing things intuitively. And I feel like they're looking at you in a different light now. So I often withdraw to process our connection. It's where I receive greater understanding and with you, I'm on cloud nine. You are my heaven on earth. And please be patient with me. I am healing my heart. You inspire me so much. I want to create beautiful things with you. Yes, so true. So let's have a look at this one. I get jealous when I think of others touching you. Ooh. And your smile makes me smile. So <laughs> I can just see it like you both, you know, laughing about something or they just, they actually watch your face. They, they like to see your face light up. You know, when you really admire someone, you're really into them and just everything they do, like every tiny little detail you notice about them and you just love it. Like whether they smile and there's a dimple um, or the way they laugh, that cute little laugh. There's just something about you that they pay attention to. They really love it. And you make me hot. And I want to run away with you. Sex with you is magic. And your smile is naughty and sweet at the same time. There's something about your smile that they really love. Okay. Maybe you have a cheeky smile. Ooh, within eight weeks, within two months. Okay, within eight weeks, something's going to happen. And then, when, then within one year, something's going to happen. So regret but hope remains. Interesting. So there is some regret here. There's a sadness, like a bittersweet feeling. Uh, look, happy outcome. 
So it looks to me like within eight weeks, it could be that there is this feeling of regret, of feeling um, nostalgia, maybe missing you, but also feeling that there is hope for the connection. And within one year, there can be a happy outcome. So let's get some charms and letters and things like that. Attributes. So that's what they were feeling the last time I saw you. Oops. Oh, they're flying on the floor as well. It's not unusual, is it? <laughs> okay. Hang on a minute. I'll just see if anything else is there. I don't think so. Okay. So we've got a poet. Someone likes writing poetry. Um, they might like poetry. We've got Chad. That could be someone's name as well as the place. Fit or athletic. Someone might be paying attention to their fitness. We've got throat chakra. Something they really want to get off their chest. Like, um, yeah, they really want to say something. Meat eater. Someone might be blogging. Or they're reading blogs. African American. We've got religious oh my god look at this religious is coming in here that's interesting there might be very strong religious differences here and they're questioning things now about their life and their values and beliefs kenya and we've got youtube so they might be looking up on youtube uh researching things um if you're if you've got a channel on youtube they might be watching your channel i think they are overseas look at that some of you are overseas it computer they could work in that uh, delivery, you might get a delivery, a, a present, or they might deliver, like deliver things uh, as a delivery driver. We've got dance, they want to dance with you. We've got new moon, so on the new moon, there could be some very powerful energies coming through um, regarding, uh, what am I saying, powerful energies coming through regarding this, like, this new beginning, things transforming as well. Blonde. Someone could be blonde. We've also got photos. They're looking at your photos, guys. Wedding. Oh, look at that. Wedding. Wedding photos can go together as well. So if you have been married before, they're looking at your wedding photos. Or somebody's looking at wedding photos, maybe envisioning being married. Producer. There might be a producer in something. Libya or Libya. Uh, we've got California. Confident. Yeah, it did say they were confident, comfortable lifestyle, and we've got stable. So someone might live a comfortable, stable lifestyle. We've got Sweden, and awakening, someone's awakening. I think they are average, so they might have average weight, might, might make an average income. We've got legal, there could be legal issues or work in that field. They can be very funny. They love how funny you are, and affair. So someone could be having an affair. Uh, you guys could be having an affair or may have, who knows. But big family, someone's got a big family. We've got owns pets and no pets. So one of you has pets, one of you doesn't have pets perhaps. Uh, they want to make you their wife or vice versa. We've got Fiji and we've got the sacral chakra, which is all about reproductive system, can be pregnancy, it's creativity, it's that sensuality, it's your personal feelings, sexuality. Sydney. We've got Agile, and we've got Dry Humor, and we've got here Exercises. Somebody is exercising, getting fit. A Mystic. Someone's a Mystic, and also Belgium's coming up. So let's have a look at some charms and letters, things like that. So someone likes to cook. They might want to cook a meal for you. They might be a chef. Oh, you look at this. They want to have, a, they actually want to have a deep conversation with you. They really want to talk to you. I get that so much. And then we got the beer. So they might drink a beer. Um, we got lips. Yep. Definitely wanted to talk to you. Want to maybe sing to you. Uh, definitely. I just get chatter, chatter, chatter. Like they just really want to um, just get lost in hours of talking with you. And we've also got uh, a kiss. They want to give you a kiss. And we've also got, they might want to put their clothes in your closet. You know, they might envision having a life with you. Also, uh, this is someone who might have really good fashion sense. We've got Denmark. Um, kind of reminds me of like, is it Sweden? Sweden, I'm trying to think. Um, but it kind of reminds me of like rural countryside. They might, they might live on, you know, in the countryside. Uh, something like that. Um, the rose and the cross has come out. So... 
someone did explain this to me. I cannot remember the meaning, but I think it's to do with Jesus Christ. It's very religious. Once again, religion coming through. Uh, so it does kind of show me that things are blossoming and blooming for them in terms of how they uh, are thinking about religion, about their spiritual beliefs and allowing things to grow beautifully with that um, as well. And I feel like they might want to give you a rose. They might see you as their rose. Um, and let's see what these are here. So bear with me, guys. <clears throat> So yes, I do have to look that up at some stage. So we've got here, be ready for the unexpected. Changes are coming in. You are urged to explore your depth as well as practice your sensibility and powers of observation. And we've got this one here. And it says, victory at any competition. If the question is love, you and your partner have a lot to work out together. Wow. Wow. So I feel like they know that and, you know, it could be that they really do want to work on this with you. Um, yeah, I feel like they're very curious about where things could go. Now, the letters could be initials or a place, initials of a place they live in. We've got E, T, W, C, N, D, A, L, Q, M, Z and a P. Okay, so yes, first word I'm seeing is the map. So some of you are definitely in a long distance connection, um, worlds apart, overseas, whatever it might be. Even if you're not, it just shows that maybe they're looking at logistically, you know, how you could uh, travel and see each other, things like that. The name Pam is coming. The name Matt is coming up. Uh, where are we? Tam, Tammy, Tamara. Tamara, uh, Pat, Pact, Mac, someone's a tea drinker, Lee, could be a name, Lee, someone le eats meat, did that come up for this one? I can't remember, there was a meat eater. <laughs> But someone eats meat. Now we've got team as well. They might be a team. They want to be a team player with you, but they also might manage like teams. It might be a team manager or something uh, for something. We've got the name Dean. Dean. Lean meat. <laughs> Lean meat. That's so funny. It could be that they are lean, or lean as in thin, or it could be that they really are paying attention to their food and diet and exercising and things like that uh, at the moment as well. We've got a uh, panel. So are they on a panel? Like, you know, when you see like TV panels or, or board meetings or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Lane. They might have a tan. They love, like, a mane of hair. They love your hair. Got the name Kane or Cade, Wade or Wayne. There's no W, but that's how I'm seeing it. Uh, yeah, so that's all I've got at the moment. I know there's a lot more, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. You can write them down. M W N Z. Q, E, D, A, C, P, L, and a T. I'm going to get some numbers now for you guys. This could be postcodes, uh, mobile number, phone number, date of birth, age, could be anything. So we've got a zero and a two. Um, this is stuck together. <laughs> oh my god. We've got something that doesn't want to come out. A zero and a seven there. Okay, zero, seven. Um, this I'll take as a six. And an eight. Could be, oh, what am I saying here? Ages as well. We've got two and a zero and one more. Uh, two more actually, eight and a zero. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. If this has resonated with you, um, just checking everything's been done. Uh, yeah, if this has resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to connecting with you guys next time. Love and blessings.